<laughs> All right. Love that song. Amazing Grace, right? My name is Stan Brown, and today we are going to be learning how to transpose, and that's what I just did there. Let's check it out. What's up, everybody? My name is Stan Brown, and welcome to Playground Sessions' YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be learning about transposing. What is transposing? It's really an easy concept as long as you know your scales, or you might have some intervallic knowledge. Okay, so we're just going to use the first part of Amazing Grace, just the first little bit of the melody. Okay, now if you, you see here, we're starting on G, then to a C, and to an E. We're in the key of C, and this actually just outlines a C triad but in second inversion. So knowing that I'm in the key of C and that I have a C triad, I can think about that if I go to a different key. Let's say the key of D. Here's my D triad. Now remember, we wanna to go to second inversion. So here's first inversion. Then here's my second inversion. From here, I can outline the melody. Now, it sounds a little different than playing it in C. All right, so why would we want to transpose? Why do we need to put songs in different keys? Well, from my background, in the process of working with singers, they might need to go up or down because of how they feel that day or, you know, anything. Um, also in the church tradition, sometimes they just start songs off and you kind of got to hear it by using your ears and pick out the intervals. So this is a very good skill to have. Okay, so that's transposition for the melody, but this also works for the harmony. In the first part of this song, it uses two chords. The one chord, which is C, and then the four chord, which is F. Now again, this is scale related, so I just counted up from C. One, two, three, four. That's how I got my four chord. Now to get to the four chord, we're going to go to the next part of the melody, which sounds like this. Okay, and that's where we're gonna stop. And right when we get to the end of the phrase is when we're gonna play our F chord. Okay, now remember we're in the key of C and we can transpose this to another key and I'm gonna pick a different key now. Let's go with B flat. All right, so we're gonna check out our melody so that we make sure we have that B flat triad. We're gonna to go to a second inversion, starting on F. Okay, that's our melody. Now remember our chords. It's gonna be the one chord, which is a B flat major. Then our four chord, which we count up from B flat. One, two, three, four. It's gonna be an E flat major triad. Okay, let's try it out. All right, good people. So that's the first little part of Amazing Grace, and we've learned it in three keys. D, C, and B flat. I challenge you to go on and try it out in other keys. It's a good exercise. And remember, as long as you know your chords, your intervals, and your scales, transposition will be no problem. All right, good people. My name is Stan Brown, and thank you for joining me. That's our lesson on transposition. Um, if you'd like to hear more on, on Amazing Grace, let me know in the comments. Other than that, thanks for joining me on the channel. Peace. All right, good people. Thanks for watching. I'm Theron Brown. Don't forget to hit subscribe and tap that notification bell. Be sure to check out the Playground Sessions app, co-created by music legend Quincy Jones. 
Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs. Peace out.